بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیکچر از واٹر اینڈ الیکٹرولائٹ بیلنس ٹوڈے وی ول مینلی ڈسکس دا ڈسٹریبیوشن اینڈ بیلنس آف باڈی واٹر سو فسٹ آف آل لٹل بٹ اباؤٹ دا ڈسٹریبیوشن آف باڈی واٹر باڈی واٹر مینلی ویریز اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ویٹ آف اے پرسن ٹوٹل باڈی ویٹ آف دا پرسن اینڈ اٹ از فرام اپ ٹو سکسٹی ٹو سیونٹی پرسینٹ آف باڈی ویٹ اینڈ اٹ از مینلی ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ ان ٹو ڈفرینٹ کمپارٹمنٹس آف دا باڈی ایز یو کین سی ٹوٹل باڈی واٹر از ڈسٹریبیوٹیڈ ان ٹو انٹرا سیلولر فلوئڈ اینڈ ایکسٹرا سیلولر فلوئڈ Uh, intracellular fluid which is present inside the cell and extracellular fluid which is present outside the cell and then this extracellular fluid water is again distributed into two compartments plasma and interstitial fluid now 50% is present in uh, intracellular fluid 20% is present in extracellular fluid and of this 20% it is divided in 15% interstitial fluid and 5% in plasma now water uh, of the body is uh, very balanced and i have already mentioned that it is according to the body body weight now it is mentioned in different percentages in uh, different books like uh, Uh, in some books it is mentioned from 60% to 70% and in some books it is mentioned from 45% to uh, 75% so i also mentioned here and uh, water is most dependent constituent of the body and water balance means uh, water intake uh, equals to water excretion or water output a normal adult consume, consumes about uh, 2500 ml of water daily in different forms like in liquid beverages food and then also from the body cellular respiration and the anabolic metabolism in which different types of uh, uh, pathways they are synthesizing uh, different compounds or different constituents and in these processes Uh, water is also produced and at the same time that amount of water which an adult consumes it is released then it is water balance and it is released also in different forms like in urine uh, evaporation via skin and lungs um, then in feces and uh, some of the water is also uh, excreted or uh, it is in output form of sweating uh, now here little bit detail of water intake uh, already aapne dekha hai ke uh, beverages ki form mein food ki form mein ya phir uh, metabolic water jo ke body banati hai by the oxidation of different food stuffs and uh, here also you can note that uh, hot in hot climate there is more intake of water like in summer uh, there is more intake of water due to excessive uh, excretion of water via uh, sweating and then uh, uh, water oxidation water from the oxidation of food is about 300 to uh, 350 ml per day and uh, now you can see that 1 gram of carbohydrate Uh, is uh, producing about 0.6 ml of water 1 gram of protein produce 0.4 ml of water and 1 gram of fat can approximately produce about 1 ml of water if you take uh, 1000 kilocalorie amount of nutrition then uh, from the 1000 kilocalorie there is production of uh, endogenous 125 ml of water now please note that uh, water intake or ingestion of water intake is mainly dependent upon our thirst center 
which is mainly located in hypothalamus that is our body is uh, controlling the uh, amount of intake of water um, by our thirst center of hypothalamus if there is a, a high osmotic pressure of plasma or high osmolality it means uh, body's thirst center is uh, uh, initiated and there is high intake of water output of water uh, water is lost uh, from various roots uh, i have already mentioned urine skin lung and feces uh, now uh, water intake normally it is higher than its loss uh, from different uh, sources so we can say that uh, body's uh, urine volume is mainly dependent upon intake of water yani ki aap jitna water ka intake zyada karenge utna hi urine ka uh, volume level high hoga aur agar water ka intake कम है तो यूरिन का वॉल्यूम कम होगा या कंसंट्रेटेड फॉर्म में होगा वाटर इज मेनली व्हेन इट इज लॉस्ट और व्हेन इट इज अब्सॉर्ब्ड व्हेन वी इनटेक वाटर इट इज मेनली रेगुलेटेड एंड इट इज रेगुलेटेड बाय डिफरेंट हार्मोन्स सो here is the hormonal regulatory mechanism of uh, urine production now uh, body can loses a little bit 1% of water remaining water is resorbed from the kidneys and uh, there is a hormone which is called as uh, uh, anti diuretic hormone adh or vasopressin uh, this mainly controls water excretion by the Uh, kidneys and it is secreted from the which your uh, posterior pituitary gland and uh, again the secretion of uh, this adh hormone is regulated by the osmotic pressure of plasma if there is high osmotic pressure uh, then there will be uh, the stimulation of the thirst center of hypothalamus and there is high production of adh and there is um, high water loss and then uh, uh if there is a uh, uh, sorry if there is high osmotic pressure uh due to water loss then thirst center is stimulated and uh, activity in hypothalamus causes the person to be thirsty and uh, a person intake of water is increased then water is absorbed through the wall of intestine stomach and large intestine and then osmotic pressure of extracellular fluid returns to the normal here is the diagram from which you can um, clearly see the explanation that if there is a uh, high osmotic pressure or increase in osmolality of plasma then there is high production of adh and increase water resorption from renal tubule so there is decrease urine output and if there is decrease in osmolality or uh, low osmotic pressure then there is decrease secretion of adh and this leads to decrease water resorption and it causes increase urine output so mainly uh, urine uh, excretion of water is uh, dependent upon the production of adh or uh, vasopressin uh water excretion uh, is mainly via urine and it is around 1 to 2 liter uh, per day and uh, kidneys uh, mainly regulate the water uh, loss or water resorption now uh, the important point here is that if body intake of water is low or if there is excessive amount of uh, uh, water loss excessive amount of water loss can be due to the uh, temperature due to the humidity or due to some kind of disease like diarrhea so uh, we can say that in these condition there is 
less amount of water in the body then only small amount of water uh, will be present in the body for the uh, elimination of waste products and uh, water uh, urinary volume of the water is very very low it is around 500 to 600 ml in 24 hour and this is called as minimum excretory volume water loss through skin uh, lungs and feces from skin it is mainly by perspiration and it ranges from 500 mg per day it is not a regulated process uh, there is no hormone or there is no regulation but it is mainly dependent upon our atmospheric pressure and humidity if there is a uh, sorry atmospheric temperature if there is high temperature or if there is excessive humidity then there will be a loss of water from the body uh, 1 degree centigrade rise can cause 15% of the body water loss and then lungs uh, mainly loss through respiration and it is around 700 ml per day and then feces about 100 ml per day of water is lost through feces and if there is some disease status uh, like diarrhea i already mentioned then uh, uh, there is water loss is uh, excessive the loss of water by perspiration and respiration we can collectively refer them as insensible water loss uh, now there is thirst mechan thirst mechanism uh, for regulating water intake uh, its detail has been discussed in previous slide uh, so you can see that if there is high plasma osmolality then there is low saliva and there is uh, uh, activation of the osmoreceptors in hypothalamus there is also a sign of dry mouth or symptom of dry mouth these can cause uh the hypothalamic uh, uh, thirst center to activate and then uh, sensation of thirst a person feel thirst in, uh, a person need to take drink water and uh, water when it its intake then a body comes to the normal level and uh, if there is low plasma volume then there is low blood pressure and this low blood pressure can um, activate the renin angiotensin system and this renin angiotensin system can also cause to activate the hypothalamus thirst center and then we take water and this water is absorbed uh, through git tract and uh, plasma osmolality it will get decreased or it will be regulated it will come into the normal status thank you so much for uh, uh, today's lecture kindly if you have any question then please let me know